Introduction So far in all our study, we have been dealing with figures that can be easily drawn on a blackboard or on our notebooks. These are called plane figures. We also studied how to find out their areas and perimeters. If we cut out many of the plane figures of the same shape and size from cardboard sheet and stack them up in a vertical pile, we shall obtain some solid figures such as cuboid, sphere, prism, etc. We had already started to find out surface areas and volumes of such solids. In this chapter, we will learn in details to find out surface areas and volumes of cuboids and cylinders and extend this study to some other solids such as cones and spheres. If we consider a cuboid to cover all its faces, we need two rectangular pieces to cover its top and bottom. Two long rectangular pieces to cover two side in ends. Two small rectangular pieces to cover from front and back ends. This shows that the outer surface of cuboid is made up of six rectangles. So, by finding out area of each rectangle and adding them up together, we can find the surface area of a cuboid. Therefore, surface area of cuboid is equal to 2 length into breadth plus breadth into height plus height into length. Similarly, surface area of a cube can be calculated as Surface area of cube is equal to 6a square, where a is the edge of the cube. Suppose, out of 6 faces of a cuboid, we only find the area of the 4 faces, leaving the bottom and top faces. In such a case, the area of these four faces is called the lateral surface area of cuboid. So, lateral surface area of cuboid of length L, breadth B and height H is equal to 2 into length plus breadth into height. Similarly, Lateral surface area of a cube of side A is equal to 4A square. Keeping in view of above, the surface area of cuboid or a cube is sometimes also referred to as the total surface area.